useful expressions from the movie The Secret Life of Pets 2. Dear friends, war viewers, and everyone who's watching this video, this is a first time for mine that I am trying a new kind of idea, an innovative kind of idea to teach you something in a very different way. I really think it will be very useful for you and interesting as well. When you watch it, do let me know how you felt about it, uh, because we are de definitely gonna we are definitely doing something, you know, something uh, different, something uh, you know, maybe interesting. Of course, it, to me, it's very interesting. I want you to let me know how you felt about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Learn English with Father Zero Zero Seven. I'm Adnan Ayaz, and we're gonna talk about some expressions from the movie The Secret Life of Pets Two. Number one. Oh, not cool! You tricked me. Here's this expression, you tricked me. You tricked me. Why do we use this to trick me? When you deceive someone in order to get something from someone, when you want someone to do something for you and you know that that person might not be willing to do it, so you just try to take him, trick him into doing something. This is what it says. In Urdu, kisi chalaki se koi kaam le lena. Chalaki karke kisi se koi kaam karwa lena. That's called you trick someone, tricking someone into doing something. Let's listen to it again. Oh, not cool! You tricked me. See that? Yeah, that little creature is saying, "You tricked me." I was wondering if you. Could... Oh God! Okay. I was wondering if you could. I was wondering if you could. You use this this expression when you are trying to ask someone to do something for you. And you're not completely sure whether that person agrees with you or not. So you say, I was wondering if you could. 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 I So this is what we call in Urdu. I was wondering In English, we say, I was wondering if you could. Okay, sentence I was wondering if you could help me. I was wondering if you could lend me some money. Okay, listen to it again. I was wondering if you could... Oh, God! Okay. <laughs> that was cool. Next one. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, that's fascinating. That's fascinating. You use the word fascinating when you feel something is extremely interesting. Extremely interesting. So use that word extremely interesting. interesting with you. That's fascinating. Listen to it again. That's fascinating. Next one. Seen it a billion times. Seen it a billion times. Seen it a billion times. That is that is quite easy for you to understand, I believe. Seen it many times. repeatedly they hear you say, You've seen it a billion times. Listen to it. Seen it a billion times. Alright, let's move on to the next one. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. You say this when you want to tell someone the truth that you really feel or think about someone or something. Or if you ask me frankly, frankly, if you ask me, will be same expression. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen to it again. Gotta be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> next one. Rid of the cone. Oh, get rid of the cone. And uh, don't worry about the word cone. Cone here was like just a doggy. It's like a little girl with cone type. Oh, the word is get rid of something. Get rid of something. To throw something away, to remove something, to make something no more, no longer a part of you. Okay? Get rid of your clothes. Get rid of your stinky clothes, man. You're stinking. Get rid of, get rid of your clothes. You're stinking. You know, and I remove your clothes, you know, not in that sense, actually. So get rid of something, okay? Kisi chee se chutkara pao, jaan chudao is chee se, yaar. Pego isko. That is, what we say, get rid of something. Get rid of ke baad koi bhi aap naun laga de. Get rid of your friend. Get rid of your bad friends. Get rid of your shoes. Get rid of your old bike, man. It's, it's worn out. 
बहुत सारे यूज कर सकते हैं रिड ऑफ द कॉन ओ गेट रिड ऑफ द कॉन आई एम गोना पास आई एम गोना पास आई एम गोना पास आई यूज टू लव दिस लॉट आई स्टिल लव इट आई स्टिल डू व्हिच मींस व्हेन यू आर रिजेक्टिंग समवन्स ऑफर किसी की ऑफर ऑफर को आप एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रहे रिजेक्ट कर रहे हैं देन यू से नो आई एम गोना पास आई एम गोना पास मींस आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट योर ऑफर आई होप यू गेट इट आई एम गोना पास Say, I'm not going to accept your offer. Next one. Oh hell, the queen! Hail the queen! Hail the queen or hail the king. That's a very common phrase or expression. They use it in the movies and commonly, which means that sab baatcha salamat ko ya malika salamat ko salam pesh kare. Or you may say everybody is trying to greet someone. जब आप किसी को greet करना चाहते हैं, ठीक है? This is how you greet someone. Hail the queen. Not a, you know, of course, you're not going to greet someone a an ordinary man in this way. Of course, this is used in some particular situations. Khas tor pe, hail the queen and hail the king. Oh, hail the queen! Hail the queen! This looks seems very funny. Don't panic. Just don't panic. Don't panic. Means don't be afraid. Don't. be afraid of anything don't do anything in out of fear in urdu ghabrao mat daro mat theek hai just don't panic okay don't ghabrao mat don't be don't be afraid of anything okay listen to it again just don't panic don't panic say don't panic if you see someone in a very different and you know such condition you know or the 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 one you feel here in the movie So you can say to him, "Don't panic," or someone is afraid of something. Say, "Don't panic," okay? You're talking. Go get cotton. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. In Urdu, we may call that "ye hina baat," or in English, we may say, "We may use this expression when you think that someone's suggestion is very good idea." आपको लगता है कि सम सामने वाला बड़ा अच्छा आइडिया दिया है? "Ye hina baat." That's it. That's what we want. That's what we want, man. That's now you're talking, okay? Now you talking, man. Now you're talking. You're talking. Go get cotton. Say. Mind your business, sir. <laughs> Mind your business. You might have heard it already. Mind your business. In English, we say that uh, someone mind someone should do his own thing. Should not, someone should not be disturbing me. Someone should not be you know Just stopping me force. Apologize. So in Urdu we call that apna kam karo yar. Jao apna kam karo. So you can use the word mind your own business as well, but it's it's okay if you use without the word own. Mind your business. Apna kam karo yar. Look at the expression. Mind your business. Sir. Mind your business. <laughs> Next one. Unstuck it. Unstuck it. unstuck it you must be already aware of the word stuck it stuck you know something is stuck something is jam or something is just locked by something so there is a word unstuck it you know like free it release it koi cheez agar phas jati hai kisi jaise ke the situation was in this movie ke wo jo bakri ke bhed ke bacche ki taang ek darakht mein phas jati hai to he is telling him it's stuck his leg is stuck then this sentence comes out unstuck it man usko nikalo usko release it free it separate it from the tree unstuck it let's hear it for the last time unstuck it unstuck it okay so that was the last one for today i would definitely want to know something how you really like about this video of mine and of course there is a huge difference between the previous ones and this one If you like this one, this method of me teaching you, telling you different expressions, do let me know. I would really want to know how you really liked, how you really felt about it. Do let me know in the message, in the comments, however you feel com comfortable. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a now. Do subscribe if you have not already. Like, comment on the channel. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.